everybody. I am Tarria and you are watching Chaos Sign. Okay, so hello everyone. Chaos Sign is today here at Klaus Ko Hotel in Helsinki, Finland, and we have the pleasure to talk to Tarja Turunen once again. So hello, Tarja, how is it going for you at the moment? Hi, hi, I'm trying to wake up. Thank you for having me here. <laughs> <laughs> I just came with a flight to Finland. I didn't sleep last night, so but I'm very happy to be back in Finland. Mm. So obviously the reason we are doing this interview is because you just we will released. drop <laughs> yes. a book today. Uh, in Finnish it's called Laulun Virta Veressani and in English it's called Singing in My Blood. Exactly. So let's get right into this. Yeah. Uh, when did you actually get the idea to start making the book? Uh, the publisher from England uh, contacted me and uh, they were interested to make a photo book. It was the first first. Um, inspiration was like to do a photo book. You see okay. many bands, artists uh, nowadays releasing photo books yes. and they're very very nice and because we all we have uh, lots of uh, memories in photos sort yes. of say. I do as well. But then I had a like uh, idea to make it a little bit more broader like open up a little bit of my not that much personal life but you know artistic life and uh, to make it interesting for my listeners, fans, to really see what's happening behind an artist and behind the life of an artist. So that was the thing. So then I started writing and whew, it was the whole pandemic. I mean, it gave me the chance to really stand behind this project and work on it. And it was kind of a blessing. I feel it really like uh, it was something so different to do brought me back a lot of beautiful memories and um, yeah yeah I guess it was quite a bit a memory trip as well uh, exactly it was amazing memory trip I do have a bad memory <laughs> but I, <laughs> I have to say but you know when I was watching all those I have a huge collection of old photos in my you know in the storage I found out with the, all the just there, you yeah. know, check out the photos and uh, remembering my childhood and how I was growing up and then about the band and then about the, the whole life that opened up and uh, sudden things. And I realized that I have had a really rich life when I was watching those photos. I just realized that, oh, wow, that I have really lived my life, which is fantastic. That has been my goal, uh, like really my motto in life to live my life and and yeah it was really nice to go through that so overall what kind of experience was it for example compared to making an album it's quite different world to make a book yeah it is a quite different world um it is as painful i would say as uh working on an album it is as painful because i'm writing lyrics writing the songs, composing the songs, is painful process. But you need a certain amount of pain to be able to create. Yeah. All of us, we artists, we need that pain. And the book, uh, it was kind of a brave thing for me to do, even though this is not a biography. I wouldn't call it as a biography because, it, well, when I'm hopefully one day, if I'm 70 one day, you know, <laughs> I have something to tell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then you, I, I would be open to do a biography one day, but um, that's then. But this, this was, uh, I'm ex as excited about it today, on the release day, like today, as I would be excited to release a new album. So obviously the book is like a bit over 200 pages. But I guess when you are like thinking about your life, you could easily r write like thousand pages. Yeah, it's very reduced. Books. Hey, yeah. it's reduced. So was it like sort of hard to it, narrow it, it down? What it you was will very tell and what hard. Not? It was very hard to narrow it down because you know I have a lot of uh, freaky stories about what has happened uh, on the road, but I haven't been able to put it down there now yet. Yeah. So that that must wait. But it was it was interesting. 
because the photos are telling the story as well. When you see the photos, they're very personal photos, a lot of personal photos, photos from my even some fan photos are there, some um, professional photographs, album artworks. You know, it shows the whole creation behind me and who am I today and what I have been. So it, it's it's nice. It's nice project. So obviously this focus is mostly on your solo career and yeah. there's quite little about Nightwish. So yeah. was that like the plan intention like intention. straight away that this will be about your solo stuff more yes. than about the Nightwish story? Exactly. Of course, Nightwish was my big part of my life. Almost nine years I was part of the band. I gave for the band my voice, my my soul, my face, my image. Yeah. And it also gave me the whole world of rock and roll and, you know, uh, I'm deeply grateful. And it's always going to be part of my life. But, you know, not too many people really know what I've been doing after night. Yeah, yeah. Especially here in Finland. I think it's a really lack of information going on. People do know what I do abroad, yeah, but yeah. not here. Yeah. And that was my intention, was to really open that part of my journey which yeah, who is, is Tarja Turunen today exactly and uh, who has been doing solo career almost a double time that I've been in a band so I've been surviving there alone yeah, you know yeah yeah, yeah 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 that's true yeah yeah the first like lyrics that you wrote ever was for the song Henkäs Ikuisuutta yeah. so how important song that is on a personal level for you and also that album which sort of started it all Of course, it was the beginning of it all. I started to take my, I took my baby steps with that album. It's a Christmas album. Yeah. Who, who, I would have never thought that uh, I would kick, uh, kick off my solo career like that with that type of music. I, But you I was, are a Christmas person, yeah, so I, I guess am. it's still a good I, uh, way to start. It. No, it was a fantastic way. Uh, don't take me wrong. I mean, seriously, it was a good way to start. It was kind of like a, in a way, easy way to start. But since I hadn't been writing any songs with Nightwish, so it was like a, I wanted to see if I was capable of. And obviously, having had that song almost ready, Esani Eminen, producer Esani Eminen, brought it up to me. And I said, mm, could I little, do some little changes here and there to make it more personal to me? And it was really nice that he gave me the chance. And it also showed me that mm, maybe I might be able to write some songs in the future, you know, if I would be just brave enough. And... That was the beginning, and obviously that song is important to me because of that. It was the beginning, and you need to start from somewhere. There is a way of saying in Finnish, I don't know in English, but kukaan ei ole seppä syntyessä. Yeah, yeah. So, how how you translate that? Good luck with that. I, I don't know. I, I don't actually know who, 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 like, not any, like, everyone isn't like master when they start doing something. <laughs> yeah, That's a yeah, rough exactly. translation, but yeah. I, I cannot put it better either myself. Yeah. So, so, so uh, in the book you mentioned that there is a mural in Bulgaria with you, and, and there's also the same mural uh, done with Dio and Alice Cooper, Lemmy and, and Dave Mustaine. And I was actually wondering when I was reading that part, that is that like the biggest compliment you have ever gotten? <sighs> As a solo artist, well, it's a pretty, pretty astonishing to be among yeah. these uh, yeah, rock legends there on the wall, and it's a huge. It's a big building. It's a huge, and it's a huge picture. Yeah. And so, um, when I had a, when I had a chance to visit, it was Kavarna, Kavarna, Bulgaria, okay. the city of Kavarna, and uh, there was a huge media following me and blah blah blah, seeing me how I, you know. I was in shock watching myself in a huge building wall, but uh, um, of course it's a it's a really nice um, compliment. It's a huge thing for me. But also another thing is that like cities like Buenos Aires gave me the keys of the city. You know, I'm like a, the honor. Yeah, yeah, that was guest. also mentioned in the book, and that's also a big deal. Like a. Oof, uh, multi-million city yeah, sees yeah. me as an important guest sort yeah, yeah. of yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but argentinians in general they have embraced me when whenever i move down to argentina really the the people there i never felt like a foreigner even though you know i'm with a 
blonde with the blue with the with, no with green eyes <laughs> jesus there's been so much talk about it which color my eyes are really and i have seen it myself they are green <laughs> officially <laughs> but uh, you know me being blonde with green eyes is uh, always a shock very yeah, in the yeah, streets yeah. but you know i look like a foreigner but i've never been treated like a foreigner okay and uh, and also yeah the local people are super nice and and i felt that was my home for a long time hmm. so obviously you met qu- quite big topic in the book is obviously what happened to you in 2019 which you already opened up with the interview you did with menais that you actually had a stroke yes. at your home luckily so could you tell home. us a bit about that luckily i was at home I just returned back home from US tour. It was a quite difficult demanding tour and uh, I felt like I was completely exhausted. Usually I am exhausted after tours. I need some days off and really recovery time and but all that. That's normal for everyone. Everyone, but uh, I'm not 20 anymore. You know, that there is a change. Even though I've been always taking care of my body physics and uh, I feel I'm in a good condition and all that, but still I would have never thought that this this kind of thing could happen to me, but it's absolutely possible for anybody, and uh, very common actually today for women, even in their forties. So I decided to talk about it now. I didn't do it then because I think it's something very important to talk. The awareness of this thing is important. So um, it was a shock for me, certainly. So how long did it basically take to get over it? I guess it, it normally takes. Did, for example, your memory get lost during that? Or? No, actually not. I didn't suffer. I was super lucky. Okay. I didn't have any defects. I mean, seriously, I I was really. And thank lucky. God to your husband's fast reactions. Yeah, yeah, and thank God I was home. I was at home. Yeah, that happened at home, and uh, he he saw what's going on, and he brought me to the hospital like immediately and they helped me and it was all good the treatments they did all that was necessary and they didn't find out what was the cause of it they didn't find out that but and i left the hospital after three days i signed myself out and i said okay i have 22 concerts to do in europe (laughs) ciao me (laughs) boy i'm going (laughs) and the doctor said that Uh, no, you are not going anywhere. But yeah. I had to. I had to, and I wanted to. I Show felt must good. go yes, on, exactly. like they say. I, I say, yeah. I die alive. I die alive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So obviously, this was a big step to release the book. But what's in the scope now after putting this out? What's the next step for Tarja Turunen? Well, I certainly hope. Like I would say. Uh, I go along with all all the rest of the artists and bands that I really hope to get back on the road as soon as possible. I have tours to do for the next three years that have been postponed, you know, the last two years. And so I have plans for the next three years completely. My calendar is packed, um, including new albums, albums. Okay. That uh, there is a new single coming out actually today. Okay. It's a new single from electronic project called Outlanders. Closer to the Sky is the new single. Electronic project. So that's something new for you again. It's absolutely new, yes. I've been doing it now. I've been finishing that uh, with my friend Torsten. He's a dance producer. We've been working on this album And the songs for it for the last 10 years, but now it's seen the day of light, finally. You know, the pandemic kind of gave us the opportunity yeah, to yeah, finish yeah, it yeah. up. And But it's beautiful. You you must check it out because there are, it's electronic music, my voice. Uh, many of the songs, I'm using my voice as an instrument, not only as a soloist, like usually. Okay. And every song has a very important guitar players. The first single is with Trevor Rabin from previously from yes there are lots of nice guitar players okay every song okay. is something new and that's something that will drop next mm, year yeah exactly now today the new single and then every every now and then we release eight singles 
Okay. And after eight singles, we release an album next year. Okay. And there are some visualizers and uh, stories and stuff like that around the uh, around the project. Okay, so Corona hasn't stopped you. No, <laughs> it hasn't. No, and I'm writing my new rock album. Obviously, I'm I'm uh, composing songs and starting that production pretty soon, actually. Okay, okay. So mm. that will be also out next year. No, mm, probably not, 23. Yeah, yeah. I I really hope so. And the show must go on. So if the if this global situation let lets me to continue touring, I will be on the road next year. And yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So thank you a lot for your time and, and, and all you. the best for the future. We will let you continue your promo trip today here thank in Helsinki. Thank you uh, so anything much. you want to say as last words to all the international fans? No, I, 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 I of <coughs> course I want to thank you guys, all of you, for the support and love and care you've been giving me so so many incredible years already. So thank you for having me and yeah, I'm always there. Check out the new book. Thank you. <laughs>